This over the range microwave died and it's 30 years old so it's time to replace it. But you may not know that your microwave is basically just plugged in above your cabinet. There are three screws on every one of these microwaves that secures them to the top of the cabinet and then there's a bracket that they're hinged on in the back. Once you remove the bracket, the new microwaves come with a template. Tape the template to the wall and then we need to find a stud. I'm using a magnetic stud finder with a level on it by Stud Buddy. This is the simplest and most reliable way to find a stud. Unfortunately, our second stud was 24 inches apart and according to the instructions, you really only need to catch one stud anyways and the toggle bolts are going to handle the rest. If you haven't seen my video on how to fix big holes with toggle bolts yet, be sure to hit the follow button and check that out. Next, we have the top template where we're going to be drilling the holes for the new screws to go through and the new power cord to go through. Once you poke out the top with the paddle bit, you can then drill back through the hole so you don't split the wood. This area that we're working in, there is nowhere to vent an exhaust, so it's just going to be a recirculation mode. After you hinge the microwave on the bracket, all you got to do is tighten these three screws at the top, plug it in. You definitely do this project yourself. If you're doing it over a cooktop, be sure to throw some protection down and smash the like button.